sometimes when you're working with teams and other departments, you actually get image sequences instead of video clips. This might happen when you're working with an animator or a 3D modeler. When they send you a rendering from Maya or 3ds Max, that is an image sequence, and you can use that for compositing. In this project, we're going to bring in an image sequence. It is not the 1920 by 1080 uh, size that we need, so we do need to interpret the footage before we actually work with it. We're going to remove the green screen and track a mask and then composite our model into a scene that of our choice. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in and get started with bringing in our image sequence. Hey. Right here we are in Premiere. I'm already in my assembly mode. Uh, yours may look slightly different to, than mine, um, but that's fine. So I've got my project panel on the left my media browser on the right. So these are all of the images. If I select them all by hitting Control A and bring them in, it's going to bring them in as individual images that are each about five to six seconds long. In this case, it looks like six seconds, almost seven seconds. Okay. Um, you can also do it a different way. You can come in here to File in your project panel, go File, Import, and then you're going to navigate to your, to your uh, image sequence and select the first one. So I'm going to go down to uh, Tutorials. I'm going to go to um, Premiere, Stock Footage, Chroma Key, Close, Test Close. There we go. Grab my first image and say Image Sequence. Make sure that's checked and then click Open. Just like that, I have got an image sequence that is 10 seconds long. If I import just one of these, if I just say right click or drag this over, let's take a look at this. It is also 10 seconds long. So you have two options to bring an image sequence into Premiere. You go up to File and you say Import and you try to find your, your image sequence. You select the first one, make sure image sequence is checked and then it brings in that sequence of images based on what you selected. The other option is to select the very first one and then drag in your media browser and then bring that into your project panel and it reads the image sequence that way too. So if you grab all of the images, it will not work, but if you grab just one of them, that's all you need to do. So that's two different ways of bringing in an image sequence into Adobe Premiere. I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video when we start to interpret our footage and uh, get it ready for processing.